Hey there everybody, Manly Starman here. Welcome to part 5 of my Hunger Games series, bringing you part 2 of the Total Drama Cast. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, give you a little peek behind the curtain, but I'm very slow when it comes to actually sitting down and making videos of things I think of. For example, this Hunger Games series was something I planned up months and months ago and just kind of sat on it until now because that's just the way I am, I guess. So when originally coming up with all these ideas, I initially was just going to include Blainly and then the second slash third generation characters from TDI. Bringing in Blainly mainly because there would be an odd number of contestants and she makes it even just because nah, I'd like to stay even. It'd feel weird to have an odd number of contestants. However, in that time, the reboot season came out and I thought, you know... Why not? I'll throw them in here too. So that means we now have an additional 16 contestants competing, which is pretty large. Not as large as the Danganronpa cast video, but, you know. I really like the reboot season. Pretty solid cast all around, I'd say. So I thought they deserved a chance to compete here. Luckily for me, I believe this is the only change going forward I'm going to be making with this series. So I don't think I'll have to modify any future contestants or the cast at all, so that's nice for me at least. Anyways, with that introduction out of the way, let's proceed to the bloodbath. The tributes stand on their podiums. The horn sounds. Ella runs. Sam runs. Mike retrieves a trident. Julia runs. Brick grabs a jar of fishing bait while lightning gets the gear. Dave runs. And Maria runs. Blainly snatches a pair of scythes. Jasmine clutches a first aid kit and runs. Joe runs. Sugar grabs a shovel. Scarlet runs. Priya runs. Leonard convinces Zoe not to kill him, only to kill her and said, Leonard? That? Okay. Sure. Leonard. And Zoe's out first. Wayne scares Stacy. Oh, because I didn't admit, I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but... Who I would want to see win is uh, Caleb from the new season, just because, uh, spoiler warning if you don't know, he was the first to go, so I'd like to see him get more screen time. Back to the games, though. Bowie runs. Sky snatches a pair of scythes. Beardo sets off an explosive, killing Rodney. For being the first two contestants out in their season, like, Leonard and Beardo are putting in work so far. Scott runs. Damien takes a spear. Emma runs. Raj and Dakota fight for a bag. Raj gives up gives up and retreats. B runs. Nichelle takes a spear. Sammy runs. Topher runs. Axel and Cameron fight for a bag. Axel strangles Cameron with the straps and runs. Oh god. Yeah, that sounds right for her. Poor Cameron though. Sean runs. Millie scares Z away. MK runs. Ripper, Scary Girl, Dawn, and Amy share everything they gathered before running. Caleb runs. Chase grabs a sword. And Max runs. Day 1. Joe and Caleb hunt for other tributes. Blainly receives an explosive. B stalks Beardo. Mike scares Dave off. Scott chases Max. Nichelle discovers a river. Millie thinks about home. Wayne collects fruit from a tree. Bowie begs for Priya to kill him. She refuses keeping Bowie alive. And Maria searches for a water source. Amy sees smoke but decides not to investigate. Raj kills Sam with a hatchet. Rip gamers. Chase constructs a shack. Z sees smoke but doesn't investigate. Dakota goes hunting. Julia, Stacy, and Axel hunt for other tributes. Leonard tries to sleep through the entire day after committing murder just earlier in the day. Emma makes a slingshot. Damien receives fresh food. Sammy makes a slingshot. Scarlet travels to higher ground. Sky receives fresh food. Dawn goes hunting. Lightning constructs a shack. Ella thinks about home. Brick discovers a river. Jasmine hunts. MK chases Topher. Sean is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Sugar steals from Scariole while she isn't looking. That is yeah, that's very ill-advised, but I guess if anyone was going to try it, I think that makes sense. 
and Ripper tries to spearfish with a trident. Four candy shots. Night one. Dakota and Anne Maria hold hands. Scott thinks about winning, because of course he does. Millie and Ripper run into each other and decide to choose. Amy spears Dave in the abdomen. Rip Dave, you may not be liked, and I may not like you, but someone's well, someone will miss you. Julia, Caleb, Michelle, and Wayne sleep in shifts. Sugar and Raj sleep in shifts. Sean starts a fire. Ella and Scary Girl run into each other in truce. Sammy tends to Lightning's wounds. Mike, B, and Topher get into a fight. Topher triumphantly kills them both. Aw. Blainley receives an explosive. Beardo convinces Z to snuggle with him. Brick tends to MK's wounds. Jasmine stays awake all night. Stacy and Max huddle for warmth. Damien and Priya decide to run into each other and decide to truce. Emma cooks her food before putting her fire out. Bowie destroys Leonard's supplies while he is asleep. Chase is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. That feels very appropriate, but Emma, she was able to properly cook her food and safely put her fire out. And meanwhile, Chase is over there freezing to death because he couldn't figure it out. Scarlet thinks about home. Axel attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Joe defeats Dawn in a fight, but spares her life. And Sky tends to her wounds. Day 2. Sky defeats MK, but spares her life. Lightning attacks Scott, but he manages to escape. And Maria receives a hatchet. Axel and Sean hunt for other tributes. Bowie receives a hatchet. Topher begs for Damien to kill him. He obliges. Killing Topher. Scarlet attempts to tr climb a tree, but falls to her death. Raj picks flowers, probably for Bowie. Beardo makes a wooden spear. Caleb begs for Z to kill him. Caleb, no, he refuses keeping Caleb alive. Okay, good. I want, I want to correctly predict one winner at least once before this is over. Jasmine is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Priya sprains her ankle, running away from Ella. Stacy, Max, Emma, Joe, and Julia hunt for other tributes. Brick picks flowers. Amy collects fruit from a tree. Scary Girl searches for firewood. Ripper camouflages himself in the bushes. Michelle and Blainley work together for the day. Ah, oh, the two famous people. All right. Wayne questions his sanity. Sammy taints Millie's food, killing her. Dawn diverts Dakota's attention and runs. Chase bashes Leonard's head in with a mace. Oh, you know, that feels pretty appropriate for a mace considering Leonard's whole D&D deal. And Sugar tries to sleep through the entire day. Seven cannon shots. Night two. Sugar goes to sleep after attempting to sleep through the entire day already. Priya and Wayne track down and kill Brick. Aw, oh, not Brick. Aw, oh, rest buddy. Blainly thinks about winning. Bowie and Jasmine hold hands. Emma thinks about home. Caleb stays awake all night. Axel loses sight of where she is. Stacy receives clean water. Michelle and Beardo sleep in shifts. MK receives clean water. Julia, Dakota, and Anne Maria discuss the games of what might happen in the morning. Joe questions her sanity. Scott receives fresh food. Amy lets Ella into our shelter. Chase once again attempts to stir a fire, but M Mans can't do it. Scary Girl and Sean sleep in shifts. Max severely injures Lightning and leaves him to die. Wow. Max beat Lightning? How? In what world? Z and Sky fight Raj and Ripper. Raj and Ripper survive. Don receives fresh food. Sammy accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. And meanwhile, Damien's receiving an explosive. Like, uh, Sammy, she wasted it here, but you can have this. Day 3. Raj thinks about home. Anne Maria, Beardo, Michelle, and Sean hunt for other tributes. Axel receives medical supplies. MK kills Ella for her supplies. Stacy travels to higher ground. Priya, Don, and Blainly hunt for other tributes. Scott, Jasmine, Ripper, and Amy hunt for other tributes. Bowie attacks Damien, but he manages to escape. Scarily Girl hunts for other tributes. Sugar injures herself. 
Max fishes. Emma makes a wooden spear. Joe and Caleb hunt for other tributes working together again. Caleb receives fresh water. Wayne scares Julia off. And Dakota picks flowers. Six cannon shots. Night three. Damien loses sight of where he is. Blainly convinces Raj to snuggle with her. Don dies of dysentery. Dakota and Nichelle hold hands. Wayne quietly hums. Joe receives a hatchet. Amy, Bowie, Julia, and Scott tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. MK, Priya, and Beardo sleep in shifts. Scary Girl thinks about home. Emma and Chase huddle for warmth, huh? I guess they actually managed to make up here. And Maria stays awake all night. Max stays awake all night. Stacy is awoken by nightmares. Sugar tries to sing herself to sleep. Axel and Ripper talk about the tribute still alive. Caleb and Jasmine hold hands. And Sean sets up camp for the night. Day 4. Sean begs for Bowie to kill him. He refuses, keeping Sean alive. Axel tries to sleep through the entire day. Raj, Stacy, Wayne, and Blainly hunt for other tributes. Dakota and Caleb track down and kill Julia. Ripper tries to sleep through the entire day. Emma chases Nichelle. Scary Girl questions her sanity. Beardo and Damien work together for the day. Priya injures herself. Chase collects fruit from a tree. Joe goes hunting. And Maria picks flowers. Jasmine, Amy, and Scott hunt for other tributes. Sugar questions her sanity. Max sees rising smoke in the distance and decides not to investigate. And MK receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Only two cannon shots that day. Night 4. Max, Jasmine, and Anne Maria sleep in shifts. Emma and Amy talk about the tribute still alive. Caleb bleeds out due to untreated injuries. God damn it. One of these days, one of these videos, I'm going to call the winner correctly. Chase cooks his food before putting his fire out. It took him like three or four nights, but dude finally managed to make a fire. Sugar receives an explosive. Dakota looks at the night sky. Ripper convinces Bowie to snuggle with him. Stacy and Joe fight MK and Beardo. Stacy and Joe survive. Raj defeats Axel in a fight, but spares her life. Damien receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Scott and Priya hold hands. Wayne receives medical supplies. Sean and Nichelle talk about the tribute still alive. And Scary Girl and Blainly sleep in shifts. Day 5. Emma pushes Sugar off a cliff during a knife fight. Nichelle receives medical supplies. Ripper, Dakota, Chase, Scary Girl, and Axel hunt for other tributes. Bowie sets off an explosive killing Stacy. Max discovers a river. Wayne picks flowers. Blainly searches for firewood. Joe searches for firewood. Sean overhears Priya and Amy talking in the distance. Anne Maria begs for Raj to kill her. He refuses keeping Anne Maria alive. Jasmine's trap kills Scott, and Damien dies of hunger. Seven cannon shots. Night five. Nichelle quietly hums. Bowie tends to his wounds. Sean receives medical supplies. Max cries himself to sleep. Dakota quietly hums. Blainly defeats Wayne in a fight but spares his life. Joe pushes Amy off a cliff during a knife fight. Emma receives fresh food. And Maria forces Jasmine to kill Scary Girl or Ripper. She refuses to kill, so Anne Maria kills her instead. Axel cooks her food before putting her fire out. Chase tends to his wounds. Priya sees the fire but stays hidden. And Raj receives an explosive. Day 6. Sean, Bowie, Joe, and Priya hunt for other tributes. Chase falls into a frozen lake and drowns. And Maria discovers a cave. Axel tries to sleep through the entire day. 
Scary Girl and Ripper work together to drown Max. Maybe they did it at the same lake Chase fell into. Emma receives more fresh food. Nichelle convinces Wayne to not kill her, only to kill him instead. Blainly injures herself. Raj searches for a water source. Unknown that his best bud just died. And Dakota picks flowers. Five cannon shops. Night six. Emma thinks about winning. Priya tries to treat her infection. Blainly sees a fire but stays hidden. Scary Girl receives medical supplies, probably just out of pure fear. Raj cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Oh no! Oh, I guess he found out about Wayne and just couldn't imagine going on without him. Ripper, Axel, and Maria and Joe tell each other ghost stories. Michelle, Bowie, and Sean carefully sing songs together. And Dakota also sees a fire but stays in. Whoop. An event. The Feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Axel doesn't go. Bowie doesn't go. Ripper sobs while gripping a photo of his friends and family. Dakota doesn't go. Blainly tracks down and kills Sean. Priya doesn't go. Michelle spears Anne Maria in the abdomen. Scary Girl doesn't go. And Joe steals Emma's memoirs. Day 7. Bowie fishes. Joe and Priya hunt for other tributes. Dakota constructs a shack. Ripper practices his archery. The scary girl receives a hatchet. Michelle collects fruit from a tree. Emma discovers a cave. Blainly discovers a river. And Axel collects fruit from a tree. Three cannon shots. Night 7. Dakota convinces Emma not to kill her, only to kill her instead. Michelle, Ripper, and Bowie discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Blainly starts a fire. Axel and Joe fight Priya and Scary Girl. Axel and Joe win. Day 8. And we're down to 2, 4, 6. The final 7. Alrighty. Michelle sprains her ankle while running from Ripper. Axel and Blainly split up to search for resources. Bowie fishes. Joe fishes. And Dakota accidentally steps on a landmine. Four cannon shots. Night 8. Blainly climbs a tree to rest. Axel receives clean water. Bowie tends to his wounds. Michelle and Joe tell stories about themselves to each other. And Ripper thinks about winning. Day 9. Bowie shoots an arrow at Joe but misses and kills Axel instead. Blainly stabs Nichelle while her back is turned. And Ripper receives an explosive. Two cannon shots. Night 9. Bowie and Blainly run into each other and decide to truce for the night while Ripper strangles Joe with a rope. Day 10. Bowie sets off an explosive, killing Blainly and Ripper, meaning with three cannon shots, Bowie is the winner. Well, I guess he was serious with what he said in the reboot, that he came here to snatch crowns. And boy did it. Let's see, tied with Ripper for four kills, Joe got five. Anyone get any more than five? Nope. So even though she got the most kills, Joe didn't win, but Bowie did, tying with four with Ripper. Well then, join me next time for where we're gonna get some Pokemon love in this series going on. See you guys then.